what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another black ops cold war top five overpowered guns video and man today is going to be a little different instead of going through random guns and random gun categories we're actually going to go ahead and use five smgs for this video every single smg in the game i want to talk about because some of these guns need some attention because a lot of people just they stick to the main ones most people go you know what smgs i'm gonna use the mp5 i'm gonna use the bullfrog forget all the other smgs they don't exist but guys trust me the other smgs if you make the right class for these things they will completely shred people no problem whatsoever and we're going to talk about each smg in the game but before we do man if we could go for a thousand and seven likes on this video that would be truly appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here with those notifications turned on i also just recently turned on membership so if you guys actually do want to support me a little more you could go ahead and do that all everything earned from that is going to go right back into the videos so i can make better videos for you guys now if you guys decide not to become members or anything nothing's going to change you don't got to worry about that just members get little extra bonus perks and whatnot but let's get into the actual classes right now. So the first thing I want to talk about is the actual, well, one of my favorite SMGs, the Milano 821. Now, a lot of people, they get the Milano, they unlock it, they use some of the attachments that they unlock, and then they say this gun is trash. But the Milano is actually really good once you start unlocking more attachments on it. So the first thing that I suggest you run is the sound suppressor, which is the third muzzle you actually unlock for this gun. You get muzzle flash concealment, and your, your shots are all silent, so you're not seen on the radar or anything like that. It's really nice to have this on this weapon. It actually does a really good job. So trust me, run that. The next one is the barrel. Again, this is the third one you unlock. So you don't have to level up this uh, this weapon up like crazy. You actually unlock these things pretty fast. Now I do only have this unlocked as well for the gun. I just recently unlocked it and it does a great job. It changes the gun completely. This gives you 18% effective damage range and it gives you 80% bullet velocity, which I can't wait to actually try out the 10.6 inch task force. It only gives you like an extra 50% effective damage damage range which is pretty damn nice because this one gives you 18 and it also gives you 5% damage so trust me this gun is going to be a killer once you have all the attachments unlocked for it after that the barrel is actually going to be the fourth one you unlock and this is the SWAT 5 MW laser sight and it gives you hip fire accuracy now it takes away some ADS speed it takes away 8% ADS speed but the Milano if you start using this gun and you start using it up close you don't have to ADS right away you could start hip firing and then ADS so it doesn't matter how slow the ADS is because the hip fire shots will be hitting and trust me this is a gun you don't want to mess with it's super good the handle is going to be the speed tape just to get that ADS right back up it gives you 10% and the stock is going to be the wire stock which gives you 10% sprint to fire time so if you actually level this up, gun up not too much you don't have to go crazy like you guys see here it's mostly the second and third attachments it's going to be a very good weapon it's it's really really damn good now let's go on to a weapon that actually did catch a nerf and i don't even know if it was nerfed that hard because it's really it's not even that bad man and that is the mp5 for the second weapon on this list now the mp5 is nice because you got that range you got that close range long range mid range it does everything you need and the only thing that i really suggest running on this weapon right here is stuff that help you out in terms of silencing the weapon so again we're gonna run the sound suppressor for this one which is really just gonna hide you from the radar because you don't want to be seen whatsoever and it does the job that's all you really need it for now the barrel you're gonna have to unlock a lot more attachments for this weapon but i really suggest the 9.1 inch rifled which gives you 20 25% effective damage range. Now it takes away 5% sprinting movement speed, but that's not bad. And even once I unlock the final actual barrel, I'm probably not going to use it because I don't want to lose all that horizontal and vertical recoil and starting ammo and stuff like that. So I'm going to stick with this one right here for the most part. It does the job. It's nice. Now the next one is going to be the under barrel. And this luckily for you is the first one you unlock. And that's the foregrip. It gives you 15% horizontal recoil control, meaning that your gun's not going to shoot left and right and stuff like that. You're going to be able to control it a lot easier and it's just it's going to be nice when you go for those longer range shots if you're aiming at the head you don't have to worry about losing the target or anything like that it's going to do the job really good for the magazine you kind of got to unlock a lot for this one and it's the one i really suggest you get 40 percent of reload quickness which means you could reload really really fast with this and you get an extra 25 percent max starting ammo which is really good to have on this one as well now we are losing six percent ads speed but it's kind of worth it in my opinion it's a little heavier so obviously it's going to take more time to ads but it's really really good because i reload quickness you don't get more ammo per magazine but you reload a lot faster so it doesn't matter if you only have 30 bullets you're going to reload this gun within a second so it's really 
really good to have. And the last attachment, we're gonna run the collapse stock for the actual stock, which gives you 10% sprint to fire time. It's nice to have, it does the job, and it'll keep you running and moving and all that kind of stuff. Now, the next one on the list is the Bullfrog. Probably, arguably, one of my favorite SMGs in any COD. For some reason, this gun is just crazy nice. If you run the right attachments on this, you're gonna you're gonna smack people even at long distance, which is hard to say because in this game, some of the SMGs they just don't work at a long distance. This one does, so it's really nice to have. The barrel is gonna be the 6.7 inch VDV reinforced, which gives you pretty much 18% effective damage range, which helps you out in those longer distances, and it gives you 80% bullet velocity. Meaning, let's say the bullets start to drop at 20 meters. Now they're only gonna drop at about 35, something like that, 36 meters ish and stuff. And so if you're hitting those headshots, the longer the distance is, they're still gonna be hitting the head. So you don't have to worry about that. That's a nice one to have. The under barrel is gonna be the patrol grip, so you can get sprinting move speed at 6%. The reason I like this is because I like to rush a lot, especially with this gun right here. And I wanna be able to run a little quicker. So this just gives you that. You don't have to run this, you can run the four grip, you can run whatever you want. But if you do want wanna run a little bit faster, definitely use the patrol grip. It does the job. The magazine is gonna be the 65 round mag. It's nice, you get extra ammo, that's pretty much it, and it, it's, that's it. You get 60, 65 rounds in your gun, so you don't have to like reload, wait and reload and wait, and, but it does take a long time to actually reload. I'll tell you guys that. That's one thing I don't like about it, is that it does take a little, a little extra time to reload. So you could run this one right here, but it takes away 20% ADS speed, the 65 round speed mags. You can reload faster, but it takes away 20% ADS speed. So I don't want to lose that. That's why I'm running the first one. Now the handle is going to be the Spetsnaz field grip, which gives you 15% ADS. And it gives you 80% flinch resistance. So this is a crazy one to have. And the last one is the stock, the wire stock, so you get that 10% sprint to fire time. This class is nice, it's gonna do the job, and you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's, it's just, it's a really good class to have. The Bulldog is crazy strong and it's one of those guns that I always recommend you use. Now the second to last weapon on this list is actually gonna be the KSP-45. So the KSP-45 is a burst weapon, but it's nice. It does a really good job. You go one burst people if you're hitting high, so use this one as well. The one you're gonna wanna run is the 10.5 inch reinforced heavy, which gives you 18% effective damage range and 80% bullet velocity. After that, we're gonna go down to the under barrel, which is a pretty cool one as well. We just want a little bit of horizontal recoil control, or you could run one that gives you vertical as well, but I find the vertical recoil on this weapon isn't that bad. The horizontal does need a little bit of controlling, which is why I'm running that one there. The magazine is gonna be the fast mags, just so you can reload really quick. We're not running extra ammo or anything on this. I find if you reload fast enough, you don't need to run all those extra bullets. And usually when you run extra bullets, it takes away ADS speed and stuff, and I don't like losing that. So this one right here is really nice. The handle is gonna be the speed tape, so you could ADS 10% faster, which really does help. If you, could, if you guys could throw on attachments that give you ADS, and that actually give you sprint to fire time, which is why the last attachment right here are running the wire stock for that sprint to fire time. If you guys compare those together, the gun is going to be really, really good because you could even get people that are camping and trying to smack you and all that kind of stuff. So it's really nice to have. Now, the last weapon on this list is the AK-74U, arguably one of the better SMGs in this game. I, I still find the Bulldog to be a little bit better, but the AK-74U is really not bad whatsoever. So the first thing you want to run is the barrel 8.4 inch rifled. Now you could run the last one as well for extra damage, but I find that this one is really, really good because it gives you 25% effective damage range. So let's say at 100 meters, you shoot someone, you do 20 damage per shot. Now it's gonna bring that up to 125 meters where you do the exact same damage. So this is really good to have. It's really nice to have, and you don't really need much extra for it. And you only lose one thing, which is sprinting move speed on this one. So that's why I think it's a little worth running on rather than throwing something else that's going to give you extra damage but take away so much ADS and all this kind of stuff. Run that. The under barrel, again, is going to be the Spetsnaz speed grip for that sprinting move speed and that horizontal recoil control. Like I said, I like to be fast and I like controlling the horizontal recoil more than the vertical because the vertical can help you out sometimes. If you're shooting someone in the chest and your gun has some vertical kick to it, you're going to hit his head, meaning you're going to do more damage. So in my opinion, I don't really like taking away vertical recoil control too, too much. The magazine, taped mags. That's it. It's two magazines taped to each other. 
and it gives you 18% reload quickness, taking away zero negatives whatsoever. Really nice to have. The handle is gonna be the Spetsnaz Field Grip for that ADS speed, 15% and 80% flinch resistance. And the last one is gonna be the No Stock, so you can get 30% sprint to fire time, which is crazy, man, 30%. That's gonna be it for the video, man. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a hundred or a thousand and seven likes, not a hundred thousand, a thousand seven likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And if anyone does decide to become a member to the channel, I thank you so much, man. I would truly appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching, man. Let me know down in the comments below which weapon on this list is your favorite one for the SMGs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go like MP5 Bulldog, kind of. I like those two guns a lot. I don't know why, but that's just me. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.